I ain't pop. I could do certain things to get me there, but I won't. Mm. I ain't take the elevator. I'm taking the stairs. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to dye my hair yellow. I'm not going to go tell on the I'm not going to do a publicity stunt to get me there because I'm a Muslim. I got morals. Mm. So I'm already committing sin and I feel guilty for it every day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo, what's pop? You know what time it is. Your boy, Mr. J. Hill in the building. J. Hill Podcast. Hey, mm, we got a special one. I always say this when, when I'm going home. I ain't really going home, but we close to it. You feel me? We close to it. D.C., right? V.A. 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 Young Mo is in the building. Yes, sir. V.A. is in the building. I mean, that's still close to my home. I'm from Baltimore. Yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. closer than here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We right around the corner from each other. Nah, facts. What part of V.A., bro? Alexandria. Okay. I mean, that's close to D.C. See, that's the most, that's the thing I hate about it, though. You can pull your mic people, back, too. A lot of people from, a lot of people from Virginia, uh -huh. they try to be from D.C. Mm. But that's how I got. All right, baby, we started off. No, you good. You straight, you straight. And you can just, yeah, yeah, just get comfortable with that right, shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the thing I ain't like. Like, I don't want to be one of them people that act like they from D.C. when they really from Virginia. I came in the game letting it be known I'm mm. from Virginia. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Damn, but I feel like, yeah, like you said, a lot of niggas do probably try to perpetrate like they from D.C. Yeah. because it's so close. Yeah. Right, but I feel like more than more so recently, you seeing Virginia make its own name, especially since the pandemic. Right, right. Pandemic, I feel like opened a whole new market for y'all niggas. Like yeah. shit went crazy. Mm -hmm. A lot of money started coming through. A lot of niggas started pulling up to Virginia. Yeah. Like, what do you um, what do you think was the hardest part of you really? Trying to be successful coming out of Arlington as an mm -hmm. artist, as a rapper. I'm from Alexandria. I mean, Alexand yeah. my bad. Alexandria. I said Arlington. <laughs> Alexandria, my bad. Shit. Ain't too many that made it where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? We ain't have no big home. We ain't had no big athlete, no rapper, no football player, none. So it's like I get the kick in the door for us. Mm. There's a lot more coming behind me, but like I get the kick in that door. So you th you would say like you that that big artist now that everybody looking to. I'm becoming that mm. big artist. When you say you becoming that, what does that big artist look like for you? <clears throat> Somebody that's able to put other people in a better position that they in, like mm. you know what I'm saying, move around, getting thirty, forty, fifty a show, and being able to change my community. Mm. I ask that because I feel like a lot of times we overlook the 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 position that we sitting in right now, right? That's true. I feel too. like you've been making a lot of moves. You got a lot of connections. You got a lot of ties with shit. Some of those big artists that we look at as big artists and to some niggas that's coming from your part of Virginia, it's like you are that nigga that's pushing, that's knocking those doors down. You For know sure. what I'm saying? Like, so like, I don't know. Do you ever think of it like that? Yeah, I mean, you know, you know how it go. That's why you say nothing in this world gonna ever make you satisfied once you... You say you want a million. After you get a million, you're going to want two. Then you're going to want ten. So maybe that's what's going on with me right now. You mm. know what I'm saying? It's crazy because I was just talking to somebody else, and we were just talking about this this path for success, right? Yeah. It's like the goalpost is always moving farther back. Yeah. So it's like we got to be kind of content and happy with something other than the success, what it looks like right now, if that makes sense. Yeah. You right. know what I'm saying? I'm, so, I'm a lot further than where I started, so I'm grateful for sure. Mm. But I f still feel like I got a long way to go. My fact, do me a favor, bro, because I just want yeah. to make sure to hear you, you know what I'm saying? All right, Bill. So, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. So, um, where would you, if you had to, we're talking about the position in your career right now, right? If you had to give it a name, what would you call it? Mm. It's time. Mm. Why? I call it this time because right now, this one I feel like it's either going to go or it's going to be a no. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Or I'm going to fall back and I'm going to give more energy to the other businesses that I got going on. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But right now, it's like I follow people's career. I follow their stories and shit. And it be like, it's a lot similar to mine. So mm. I feel like I feel like I'm about to push through. So talk to me about that, right? Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of frustration in that 
the moment before you break through. Yeah. Because it's like you know that, like you said, you see these artists and you see the similarities, and like you see how they pop when they were where you are. But it's like at, at some point, do you feel eager or anxious? It's like, man, I wish it hurry up and come. Nah, I I like I came into the game prepared. Like I ain't trying to sound like like you know what I'm saying. I ain't trying to sound wrong, but like. I came in with money, so I don't depend on it. I don't mm-hmm. depend on the music. So if I'd have depended on it, every project I drop, I'd be like, oh, this one's going to go. And then it don't, and then mm-hmm. I'd be back frustrated. Or this video going to hit a million views within a certain amount of days or weeks, and then it don't, then I'm back frustrated. Mm-hmm. Hell no. Nah. We're going to we keep throwing until one of them get caught. Damn, so there's no pressure at all in that department? Nah. You, um, you fuck with Jeezy at all? Yeah. So it's, it's, it's funny because your story, just this short period of time that I'm listening, it reminds me of like Jeezy's story. So Jeezy came in with a bag, yeah, like yeah, yeah. driving Ferraris, right, all right. that. Yeah. And he was just like, man, I'm just trying to get lit as a rapper. He wasn't a rapper, though. He didn't rap. He did the rap shit, and he was really he was going on tours and doing shit the whole time. He was making way, he had way more money than he was making, but he wanted to pop. And I'm just curious, like... If you already got the money, right, and you ain't chasing the views or the notoriety from it, what are you chasing? To keep it real with you in this music industry, the best part about it is the relationships you earn on the way Mm. up. If you're a genuine person like myself, all my relationships stick. That's why this right here called life, locked in forever. Once Mm. we friends, we friends forever. Mm. It ain't no breaking out of that. You know what I'm saying? So now I got music led me to have friendships with doctors. I got I get phone calls that other people can't make. Mm. Hey, doc, I need to see you. My son need to see you. My auntie, my friend need to see you. They coming in. I got car dealership friends. My partner need a car. Hey, I'm trying to help somebody with a car. I need a car. We're going to get the car. Shoe stores. Anything, studios, anything you can imagine, I built those relationships, and that was my goal. Mm. Let me tell you something. Like, to keep it real with you, my philosophy or my recipe to the game was I'm from Alexandria, Virginia. We don't got a voice. I don't got a name. I don't got nothing. So you know what? I know how to use my mouth. I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to see this artist right here. He rap about the same things I rap about. We similar. So his fans might like me. You know what? What you want for a feature? Five, ten thousand. Cool. Pay him that and steal some of his clientele. And then I'll build my little audience up. Mm. Now when I drop music, the same people that were shopping with him, they shopping with me. I get his fan base and I get paid off the stream. Mm. That was my recipe. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it was just really it sound like it started from just wanting to shit kind of just push a city on the map yeah almost right so it's like yeah. bro i want to i want niggas to see that we got a voice too yeah damn that's crazy and to answer your question is to uh, okay put my city on the map but to gain some relationships that won't allow me to fall in mm. the long run if i stop rapping today i still got all the access that rappers got and probably more because your average rapper, they're going to look over those kind of things. They're going to treat the people at the dealership with disrespect, throw the cash, man, let me get up out of here. No, nah, I'm going to go out to eat with these people. I know they family, they know mine. Damn. So it's like we build that relationship together, and, and hopefully I never fall like that. Do you, and music has helped me with that. Do you think music... We got to be careful with this question because I'm trying to, I don't know the statues statu- of limitations, but do you think music helped you go into a better direction that you was in before you got into music? Hell yeah. Mm. Hell yeah. So it can almost be kind of like a sport, yeah. right? Like when, when you was young, you had some people that played sports yeah. They get them away from the, all the bullshit and nonsense of the neighborhood. Yeah. Music could be something like that similar. Music is something like that. Damn. Me, I came in here illegal immigrant. We snuck into America. Mm. So I ain't had no way to make it into college. I ain't even have a social security number. Damn. We, you know what I'm saying? We Muslim, we going to eat from 
churches. We walking in the church to get boxes, you know, the boxes of the mashed potatoes and yeah, yeah. a thing of lettuce. The dinners, yeah. Yeah. We, like, that's how poor we were. So I ain't had no choice. It was either ball, hustle, or make music. Damn. And music, like, it took me further than where I thought I was going to get to, but I'm still trying to go for, further. That's crazy, bro. Um, speaking on like just the Muslim side of it, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think that you're ready for the industry though? Because everything you just said is kind of like the opposite of what you're about to go through. And I feel like yeah. you you know this now. You should like you look good. Like you got some you you tied in with Trail. You tied in with uh, Hefe. Like you, you you know what I'm saying. Like you got some plugs. Right. So you should understand what this industry is about. But mm -hmm. do you even know what you're getting yourself into? That's why I ain't pop yet. That's why I ain't pop. I ain't pop. I could do certain things to get me there, but I won't. Mm. I ain't take the elevator. I'm taking the stairs. Mm. I'm not going to dye my hair yellow. I'm not going to go tell on a nigga. I'm not going to do a publicity stunt to get me there because I'm a Muslim. I got morals. Mm. So I'm already committing sin and I feel guilty for it every day. I beg for forgiveness, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm already distracted. Mm. Like, this whole world just a test for real, but and, and, and I'm distracted. But, you know, there's certain things I wouldn't do and certain things as a man and as a Muslim won't allow me to do in order to get to the next step. Mm. Would you say that you you on your dean? Would you say that? Yeah, of course. So I, I ask that because, like, so you don't drink or smoke or nothing? No. So I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, I smoke, like... I used to smoke cigarettes, but then mm. I had a newborn. I ain't want the smell going around them, so I switched to the jewel. Okay. But I don't drink. Now, I asked that because, you know, like, I had a Muslim friend in high school, mm -hmm. and, like, I thought I was struggling, right? Like, I thought, like, my life was fucked up. And he had a similar struggle, but times 10. And the fact that he had siblings, and he really was taking care of his siblings. Like, mm. I never... I never seen nothing like it. I thought it was so special and dope. And like that was like my first interaction or introduction to like, I don't wanna say a real Muslim, because like I feel like my homies, like not homies, but I've seen Muslim or people around the way that said they was Muslim, but he was like somebody that came, I forgot where he was from, but he came from, um, he wasn't a, a, a citizen. Mm -hmm. And he was taking care of his family and shit and like his morals, like his, like he was a stand up dude. I mean, I was in high school. He being tested. Mm. Whoever he was, he was being tested. I know I know one of the laws in the 50 or the 49 laws of power or something like that, one of them was, was is like stay away from the unlucky mm. or something like that. That's bullshit to me. Mm. My friends, the ones that's unlucky, the ones that's going through shit, I stay beside them closer because they being tested. Mm. Just like you said, your partner, he got He's standing on it, ain't he? He's mm -hmm. taking care of them, them mm -hmm. 10 siblings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's being tested. He's going to be rewarded. Mm. But that being a part of your background, that that side of, like, the Muslim beliefs and everything like that, when I ask you, are you ready for this, I just feel like it's not a lot of people who are just authentically them, everybody in this. It seems like the people I'm meeting – a lot of people are good, but a lot of people just have a lot of shit that come with them. You know what I'm saying? They got alternative motives and shit like that. Like you said, yeah. you've been in here, and, and the thing you fuck with the most is the relationships. What happens when those same relationships you thought was good turn sour? I mean, that's any you. I mean, that's that's on you to decide as a man to see if those relationships are good or bad. But I don't really see it. There's no like. A lot of people that you wouldn't even know are Muslim. Like, really, damn near fifty percent of the industry is Muslim. Like, look mm -hmm. at all the people that we're starting to see, like Lil Durk, mm -hmm. Kevin Gates. Um, it's a lot of people. Moneybag, Money yo. Damn, I like, didn't even know all that. Listen, listen to what they rap. They say prayers. They say Allah. They talk about fasting. They talk about this. Most of them are Muslim, and the, to the to the public eye, we look at these people like how you how you Muslim, you drinking, your pants sagging, you talking about killing and all that. Being Muslim is not about. I mean, it's always is definitely guaranteed. You supposed to pray five times a day. You supposed to fast. Don't have sex until marriage and all that. But 
they say a Muslim who does not pray five times a day but has it in their, in their heart that there's only one creator and that's Allah. So the belief is in their heart is better than a Muslim who prays five times a day, doesn't commit no sin, but in his heart for real. He's not a true believer. He's not a true believer. Mm. So who's to say these people ain't Muslim? Mm. Like, we don't know what they do. Like, do, do, we don't know what's in their heart. Like, me as a Muslim, I'm in fear every day. Man, I committed this sin. Is Allah going to forgive me? When I step out the door, I'm supposed to step out with my right foot if I mess up. Like, I'm always conscious. I know I'm a true believer. I'm a mu'min. Mm. So I don't think like, and it's not even on anybody. Like, that's a sin for me as a Muslim to say that this brother is not a Muslim because of what he's doing. That's really going to push them further away from Islam. Mm -hmm. Like you can get scared of it, you can get tired of it, and all that. But for real, Allah make it easy for us. But we, I'm saying, my bad, I mean, because I'm talking about not even the people who are Muslim that might not be on that dean or whatever the case may be. I'm saying just your beliefs. Like, like you said, I'm scared every day because it's little sins that I'm committing, and I I pray to Allah, I want Him to see me for who I who I am in my heart, right? For the people who don't think like that, people are just fucked up individuals, right? I'm saying, how how do you? How do you have so much integrity, but it's so many people that you got to surround yourself in this industry who don't have that integrity. How do you move? Like, how do you move knowing that? Yo, this episode is sponsored by The Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy, David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created The Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now, listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money. And we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I see you there. I don't really see that you got to involve yourself with too many. Because mm -hmm. one person that I spent a lot of time with, like a lot of time, I'm talking about years around him, I was around Kevin Gates. Mm -hmm. He's a Muslim, and he don't surround himself with nobody. Mm. He don't be around nobody. He go to the offices, he see people, and then he leave. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Yo, how was you able to talk about these relationships, bro? Like, sheesh, like, you didn't, it's so many. How how, how was you able to maneuver your way in these doors to get the relationships with Gates, Hefe, Trail, like, these are the recipe I told you I had. Just, okay. That. And then we find... You know what I'm saying? A brotherhood amongst that. Like, for the people that I did pay for features, it turned out being a brotherhood. Mm. I got a true bond with Trail. I got a true bond with No Cap. I got a true bond with Gate. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, have you ever I had... I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna make it clear now. Like, me and Gate, like, we done had a lot of fallouts, and I ain't gonna lie, I done, I done went and said things about them on internet and shit. But, man, like... You know, Allah forgive me, and we hashed out our differences. What? Where did that start from, though? If you just me not agreeing with everything he was doing, and him not agreeing with everything I was doing. Mm. I feel like that's super important in our community, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like niggas need to see men. It's crazy as it might sound. I feel like young boys need to see men be able to fall out and come back together, though, because that's a part of relationships. No relationship is perfect. Right. And men should be able to like have differences, speak about their differences and work through them. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times I feel like we see a lot of these little niggas killing niggas because they don't understand how to communicate properly and effectively. Right. A lot of niggas get their feelings hurt and they think because their feelings hurt, they got to take a nigga head off. It's like, bro, a nigga embarrass you. You don't have to automatically kill a nigga from that. Yeah. But that's I a mean, great point. A lot of murder, a lot of niggas kill him because of communication. <laughs> The lack of communication. They see each other before the communication. 
come into play, but mm. communication is a big factor. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not going to sit here and say there's shit you can't come back from because mm. there is shit that you can't come back from. Once there's blood spilt, it's like now you got to pick a side at that point. For real? Hell yeah. If I'm if 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 I'm in my neighborhood and one of my partners get killed by this neighborhood, mm-hmm. what you what you think? I'ma be back cool with them because of communication? Hell no, nah. cause if you if you if I get back cool with him, what you think the rest of the neighborhood gonna look at me like and and, and their families and all that? If they ain't forgive you. I feel like, but a lot of times we we beefing over shit that don't got shit to do with us. It be inherited beef. It inherited don't matter beef. where it don't matter where it start. It's about it's about if it's too far. Like I feel like sometimes it's too far. So for example, I think I just seen this um, post. I think Lil Dirk signed uh, a artist from like the opposite block or some shit like that, so they can kind of stop the beef in Chicago. I think it was from like an artist from Sixty Third or something like that. So you don't think. A situation like that would would help stop the violence because I think shit like that could help stop the violence. I pray it do. More power to them if 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 they could find a way to do it. Then, but you would never. I'm not even speaking my situation. I'm I I ain't talking about nothing. I'm just saying, I'm just speaking as an example in third party. Mm-hmm. It'll be hard to forgive once blood is spilled. You know what I'm saying because it comes with more than that comes with more than just oh we had a conversation what about the mama that's crying mm. what about the sister what about the kids that's been left mm. without a father mm. what about the you know what i'm saying what about them they're gonna look at me crazy and i'm now i'm in the picture with you come on no it ain't be realistic and i wish it was like i hate to even be sitting in front of here being the one that said it's not it's not it's not possible because a lot of people gonna hate me for it. I'm just speaking realistically. Nah, it's cool. And these I'm, people, they the people that are probably gonna say something to me about it is part of the people who sitting behind the computer that's never stepped a foot or been in that situation. So, you know what I'm saying? But nah, that's the beauty of conversations, though, right? Like, and that's why I love doing this because like two men can have conversations and we could talk throughout differences, or whatever, right? Like face to face. And I think that's the dopest part of this. You would have a conversation with. Stuff for law, not to speak this up, but one of your partners killed. Um, I haven't been in that position, so it's easy. I feel like it's easy for me to say what I would do in the position. I respect you for that. A lot of niggas would be like, if a nigga uh, come at me with a gun, I'm going to do this, do that, or I would take a bullet for you. Everybody, A lot of people say what they would do until they get in that position, and they see exactly what they would do. I was just speaking about that. Yeah, so I like, I try you. to be, no, you good. I just try to be careful with saying what I would or wouldn't do. But me being somebody who isn't, in that lifestyle, whatever that lifestyle is, right? I try to gain perspective of why or why not, right? So I'm not really judging why or why not your reason. I'm just trying to gain perspective of why so, right? So if that can't be you, I'm trying to gain perspective of why not? Because I'm thinking if this, like you said, you wish you could, right? If you wish you could, then you could. So I'm looking at it as an outsider, right? I'm looking at it as, okay, yeah, you might take a hit for this, but we take hits for so many things in life for greater good. So me taking a hit to, to, to like, the Dirk thing, right? I have no idea what the fuck that's up. Honestly, just letting you know, I just seen on the internet. So, like that, if I had to take a hit for the violence to stop in my community, me being an outsider, I could see that making sense because it's like, bro, this could potentially stop so many other killings. Yeah, I might look like a, I don't know what they call it, a lame or a fuck nigga or whatever, or a sucker because I did this, but I know, like you said, Allah is judging your heart. I ain't here to prove to nobody in the flesh. Fuck all y'all. I'm trying to make it to heaven. Right? So, like, in me, just my opinion, if I could potentially stop so many other killings because I got the voice or because I got the, the platform, I think it should take some deeper consideration, in my opinion. You'll be a great Muslim. Mm. I'd say that much. I know, I know, I know how you how you thinking and all that. It take a lot of you right. It take a lot of putting pride to the side and focusing. But yeah, you'll be you'll be a great Muslim. No, I appreciate that. Well, why you think so many people or like I mean I don't know. I'm not trying to not to judge, but like people that's cut from the club, you cut from. You get what I'm saying? Why do you think it's so hard to put that pride to the side and 
settle all these differences that's that's going on. Like I told you, it's the background noise for sure. Mm. It is like. Like you, if you really listening to me, you really got to put yourself in that position. Mm. Your partner just got killed. You sitting in the living room with his mom, his sister, his brother, his father, his children, all that, and they hate his killer. Mm. And then you leave out the living room, you get back to your life, and then you, you bump into his, his killer. You yeah. shake his. Hand, you take a picture with him. Yeah, I mean that is that is. You turning your back. You're either gonna turn your back on two people. Mm -hmm. You're either gonna turn your back on, and you're right, damn. Or you're gonna turn your back on a love which doing the right thing, or you're gonna turn your back on the family. Mm -hmm. But that goes back to what I was saying. We all distracted. Mm -hmm. We've been sent down here as a test. Everything is a test. Like what you think you just. It just magically happened that you ended up in the womb that took nine months and then you came out. Now you got a fingerprint that billions of people, different people got a different fingerprint in the spam of a half an inch. Mm -hmm. Then your bones, your veins, your <laughs> joints, your, all that. It wasn't by chance. Something, someone perfect designed all of this. Mm. We here for a test, it's a little short. 40, 50, 60, 70, hopefully more years that we get, you go somewhere after this. Mm. Damn, so what do you think, <clears throat> what do you think, just you being in the game for the time you've been, how long you been rapping? Uh, professionally, maybe like 10 years. You've been in the game 10 years, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say play, play 10 plus years. Okay. What do you think niggas, what do you think niggas go wrong the most trying to be a rapper? Skipping the struggle. Mm. Everybody think that they just supposed to just jump in and be this mega star and all that. Like, yo, you got it. You got to cater to your fans. Your fans want to see you from the low budget videos to shoot movies. They want to see you rinky dink to fly, driving something nice. They want to see you from the bottom on up. Everybody want to jump in the game already. Lit. Lit. It didn't don't work like that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Damn, that's so skipping the struggle would be the number one problem that a lot of artists, such as myself, go through. So you think you had to go through that too? Yeah. I, I'm jumping in way too early already. I'm down here with a damn near $200,000 watch on my wrist, and I ain't never signed no deal. But, I mean, I feel like a, that's – honestly, bro, where you at? Again, this was kind of like last minute, but – just looking at you, I could kind of, I could kind of tell like, you ain't doing nothing that nobody else doing. Like niggas that's lit, doing that. Right. Like niggas that's lit. Like yeah, they might not assign, but niggas is. That's what Money Man told me a couple weeks ago. He said, "Man, Mo, you more, you more popping than a lot of niggas that got deals." Mm hmm. Yeah, niggas like you ain't. Doing Shout out to Money Man too. That that's somebody footsteps in this music shit that I follow. Nah, that nigga is getting to it. That nigga is different. Yeah. But like, yeah, I, like niggas in the city, in my, my city, for real, like. The niggas that's that's lit in the city, you know, you could you could easily decipher who which one is lit and which one is not, and it shouldn't. It's crazy because jewelry shouldn't be able to differentiate your talent, but it is what it is. It, it, it shows how hard you work for where you at, right? And it helps get eyes on you. Yeah, I look at that different too. It's like, you know, the big the big dogs in the industry, they don't want to come, like. After you become successful, after they do the background check on you, they want to see where you come from. Mm. They don't want to go hang around the nigga that's standing outside the 7-Eleven smoking black and miles and drinking beer. Mm -hmm. They want to be beside somebody that's moving, that's doing something. So I remember, I think it was Offset that said in that song, Get Your Respect in Diamonds. Mm. Wasn't it one of the Migos that said that? I don't remember. I Get don't Your really Respect in Diamonds. It stuck with me because... I think that, and I hate it, but I think that's a representation to weed out through the bullshit. Cause it's like, you know, some some of us fucked up. We think like, man, shit, why you ain't turned up? Why you in your city fucked up? Like, you a man? Like, what? Somebody don't trust you enough to do business with you, mm. or why ain't you where you supposed to be? Like, and that goes to people that's lit or turned up and they 
they put it on for years, like they good for years, that means they doing something right. They got some type of genuineness. They got some type of integrity because mm. somebody's trusting them to keep doing business with them. Mm. Damn. So if you fucked up and you showing fucked up, it's because either you you lazy or you ain't got no integrity. Let's talk about the smoking mirrors though, because a lot of niggas is 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 got the game fucked up, like not even being fucked up. A lot of niggas is gonna spend that last on some jewelry to look good to perpetrate for somebody else, but really that's putting them in a whole fucked up position. How long that last though? You seen somebody perpetrating for a long time, like that's years. A fact. You know who I used <laughs> to think. You know who I used to think was perpetrator. Who? Soldier boy. He is not perpetrating. <laughs> that nigga Soldier Boy is not perpetrating, bro. Facts. He ain't. Yeah. He 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 got it. Like, yeah. You can't fake it that long. But I don't even know why you would think he was perpetrating because. Because he always talked about it. Oh, okay. Because he came in to get like he had streams, like he had yeah. money, like the shit. He did talk. Maybe he would say he corny, but he had it. Because I was one of the people who didn't have it and that was watching him. Okay. Okay. And he was looking like a dude that had fame, but he ain't really have it. Okay. But I just went on this shit the other day, and I'm like, man, this nigga still going. Like, Crazy. He is not faking. Yo, let me ask you this then, bro. Do you just, you making your relationships how you made your relationships? Have you ever paid for a feature and you didn't get close to the artist? Y'all didn't build a uh, connection? Fuck yeah. These how did that make be you weird. Feel? You don't fuck with that? And I ain't I ain't paying for a feature to be your friend. Like mm. I'm gonna shake your hand, do the song, and try to steal from some of your fan base. If it don't work, it just don't work. Mm. But sometimes it do end up being something good. But when it don't, I don't feel no type of way or nothing. Mm. Even you, when I see him, like I did want a feature with an artist. I paid, boom, the song. I ain't making no money back. The song ain't do shit. And then I seen them again, shook hands. What's up, bro? How you been? I been good. You good? Yeah. Boom. That's it. Damn. So, like, that feature shit, I could just imagine. Like, you say you pay a, a bag for a feature. Some niggas try to hit you on the top of the head. That shit don't do nothing. Like, shh, that shit got to be hard. Like, because you gambling every time. Yeah, but, I mean, I, I done took real losses. Like, that shit ain't nothing. What's the biggest loss you took? You want to tell them? <laughs> it was the biggest loss. Man, I took losses, bro. Like, I done lost a million a couple times. Wait, what? Yeah. I look, man, I took some losses, bro. Like, my partners, they tell me, they like, man, I don't know how the fuck you even got the energy to start over. I had to start over so many times, bro. But well, that's how you, that's how you know when a nigga got real emotion. What they say, when I'm you can gonna, lose it and get it back? Yeah. That's I just, how you. I just watched the interview with Dolph. I'm mad as shit. He didn't tell me what I wanted to hear, but I was looking for it. But they like they he the interview, I think it was uh Tigger. Yeah, I remember Tigger, yeah. He asked him, he said, What what, what was your biggest loss? He was like, Man, I don't want to talk about this shit. I really wanted to hear that shit to give myself some motivation. I done lost a million a couple times. I done lost half a million a few times. I done lost two hundred. I done lost a hundred. Like Bro, the music can't what the fuck is you doing? The music can't be spending it making this much money. Like yeah. <laughs> No, I mean I'm a good businessman too. Like I I I'm in real estate, I'm in trucking, I'm in I'm in all that shit. Damn, bro, niggas is get I need to Sheesh. Yeah. That shit is fire. So But see what you just said right there? Man, I need to you can this right here, this is what's gonna take you there. Mm. I guarantee you. And I'm telling y'all now, what's today? Today is September 30th, Sunday, October 30th, 22. You are going to become big and you're going to meet somebody through this mm. platform right here that's going to take you where you want to go. Mm. Now that makes sense. I guarantee you. Damn. Thanks for the thanks for the uh, motivation, man. Yeah, look at Gilly look, and them. Man, yeah, that shit. Look at Gilly and them. Hey, that how you think crazy. they did it? Honestly, being them, bro. Integrity, hustle, and relationship. Yo, Gilly and them. What time is it? Gilly and them. Are right, we good? Gilly and them, bro, was so motivational because it's like they're probably like one of the only regular niggas that like they, like when I look at them, like all right, 
I can if they can make it, I can like they are like the most regular niggas. Like yeah, like that shit was hard. That's why I respect your your platform. Man, I appreciate that because man. Gilly and them also they go viral off of they funny, but they talk about real shit, bro. Mm. And that shit real hard to do nowadays. It is. Like, look at the people who made music real shit that just pop. Rod Wave, No Cap, Lil Dirk. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, this shit just starting to come out, like, where yeah. being real is cool again. Bro, even on, like, just giving niggas game, right? Let's look at uh, Money Man, like you just said. Yeah. His wave, to me, is super unique. Okay. Like, that nigga, like, the shit he talking about, it's just, and, and to see him getting so much success, uh, like, him doing a dolo for real by himself, if that ain't motivation for a rap nigga, I don't know what the fuck is. Like, Money Man one of the ones, bro. That nigga is crazy, bro. He said all I needed was a laptop. <laughs> nigga yeah. crazy. Money Man one of the ones that he understand the concept too, and I guarantee you, bro. He in Atlanta today, matter of fact, if you touch shoulders with him, I think he got an event tonight. You should I'm definitely get that. him on here. I guarantee y'all from your conversation with him, he going to tell you the most important thing that music has brought him was relationship. Mm. Yeah, it's hard to, uh, I try to reach out to that nigga. It's hard to get in contact with that nigga. Yeah, pull up on him. Pull up on him at his, at his uh. I'm going to look into that your shit. Your face look familiar now. Like, nah, facts. Yo, so like, what do you think? Besides the relationship part, right? What was one of the most, um, like the biggest thing you learned from your journey besides the relationship part? Like when it came to business, when it came to making the music, when it came to the maintaining the relationships, a lot of niggas don't talk about that. All of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, biggest thing I've learned was going back to money, like keep all your money separate. Mm. Like, the money that you make from your music, keep it there, stack it up, and don't use it unless you're spending it on music. The Jeez. money you make from whoop de whoop whoop de whoop whoop de whoop keep it all separate. You know what I'm saying? Because if you put all of them in one basket and you lose, you're done. Mm. But you you still got your trucking business going. You still got your real estate. You still got the da da da. You got a company card. Like you can only spend this much from that da da da. You still gonna stay afloat. You ain't never gonna drown. Shit, that's a million dollar per game right there. Sure. What made you get into all this? All these the losses. Business? The losses taught me this shit, bro. I took so many losses. Like I'm tired of that shit. Nah, fact. I gotta <laughs> learn. It gotta be the right way to do something. Nah, fact. Now, what these, made you get into the business ventures though? The losses. Oh shit. Yeah. Damn. I'm not trying I'm trying to have some I'm trying to have some back support. Damn. I gotta leave some for my children. I gotta leave some for my children's children. Bro, these people that be making it, that be staying afloat, they doing something right and they came from losses. Mm. The Rick Rosses, the what's bro, you fuck with uh two chains. Mm. The the all these people either are the ones or they got the one in their ear telling them, hey. Save this, invest that, spend that. You know what I'm saying? What was your best investment? You think? Um, my best investment. It could be a business mm. venture. It could be a feature. It could be a certain feature. It could be betting on myself. Mm. That's heavy. I don't. That's heavy. Man, I'm a, I'm a bet the house on myself every time, bro. That's heavy. Every time I'm going to go in with it like I ain't no quitter. I ain't going to lay down. I can go five million tomorrow, zero the next day, and I'm going to wake back up and I'm going to get that shit back. Damn. Sheesh. Yo, bro, tell me what you think about, um, what do you think you mean to Alexandria? I mean a lot to Alexandria. I ain't going to hold you like, uh, I'm the motivation, I'm the voice, I'm the muscle. Like, I'm 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 a lot to Alexandria, bro. For my little section, of Alexandria, and I I don't I don't I don't push my nose up on nobody. Like, I'm in the projects. I'm on the west. I'm on everywhere you can name it. Like these people, they don't even take pictures with me no more. Cause it's like, nigga, I see you every day. Mm. 
You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah. And another thing I just learned too, as far as Islam, like I used to go do charity events and hand out jackets, book bags, and all that. And I used to post and I used to do, do. I don't do none of that shit no more. Why not? Cause I just seen, I just seen. Matter of fact, look. I'm gonna pull it up right here. I just sent this to Gates. We were just talking about this last night. Look. Just click that right there. The picture? And read it, yeah. Uh, let's see if I can read this out loud. He who lets the people hear his good deeds intentionally to win their praise, Allah will let the people know his real intentions on the day of uh, resurrection. And he who does good deeds uh, or good things in public to show off and win the praise of the people, Allah will disclose his real intentions mm, and, humi- and humiliate him. Yeah, I feel like that was all about intentions, though. Like as yeah. long as you had the good intentions, I mean. But I get, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I used to do it. I used to do it to to motivate other people to do it. Mm. But I don't think anybody should show off what they're doing for people. No, that makes sense. I. <laughs> it's funny because. We like it's 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 it's, it's crazy because we're in a different space, and me I think the opposite, right? Because I used to think like that. I'm Which one? Why. Don't show or show? Don't show. Okay. Never forget, like so. I um, I went to college, and from co- like in high school, I used to do mad, uh, community service. Never took pictures. I honestly, I was young. I'm like, bro, I'm not taking no pictures of what I'm doing, bro. Like that shit is corny. I used to, I swear to God, I used to think like that. I'm in a fraternity, Omega Psi Five Fraternity Incorporated, right? So. I remember coming to school and the dudes that was already in the frat that I was trying to be in the frat, they were saying, "What what have you done? Like, what community service have you done?" And I'm like, "Bro, I did mad shit. Like, like, so where is that? I'm like, bro, I ain't record that shit. I just, I told them straight up, I ain't record that. They like, so how do we know, right? So I feel like if you're doing it for motivation or not, right? Like, if you're doing it for the right thing, like Allah will, God will show, right? Right. And it will be known. And if you're doing it for the wrong thing, the same. It will be known. And your yeah, true intentions will be shown. You'll be humiliated, right? Right. And I just feel like it's the same with, like, getting a job. When you go to the job, if you if you go to apply for a job, you ain't going to get that job if you don't have a resume. A resume is only documentation of what you've done, hmm. right? So let's say if I'm putting it out and somebody thinks it's corny or whatever the case may be. At the end of the day, somebody is seeing the good deeds. So the people that it is motivating, my, my true intention is spreading on them. Right, I'd rather be in the position where it's doing more good than being in a position where nobody sees. I'd rather be on the other side, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Right, so like if somebody don't like it, I, I get it, I respect it, I understand it. But me, like, you will understand this. You know, a lot of street niggas say I'd rather to be caught with it than without it. Right. So if God had to judge me, I'd rather my page be full of the, the positive things that I'm doing, and I'd be judged by that, than to be out here look like I'm doing nothing. You know what right. I'm saying? It don't matter. It's all perspective. I'm just, you made a just, big but valuable my... point though. It's about the intention. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? No, for but sure. But you're right. You that that that's a real valuable point because attention is big, mm-hmm. and you just you you kind of just taught me something because I I missed that part. But it's like shit is in the post though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's all about your intention. If you doing I, it, I missed that part. I went mm. straight to showing off. Yeah, you know I what get, I'm saying. But it's again, it's all about intentions, right? And I mean perspective, and your intentions is clearly there, right? Yeah. Like it ain't my bad. You could, no, 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 you could. But like, it, it, like that's why I say it's not a. I'm not saying I'm not judging you for it because you're, yeah, you, you clearly have good intentions right. behind. Even you saying I don't want to post it, it's good intentions behind it. Right, right. So right. I'm not here to say, bro, you should or shouldn't. You I'm a just, thinker like shit. Yeah, no, nah, I'm just saying, like, you're bro, here just like me. I live up here. Yeah, bro. bro. I'm not like like if a man say he don't want, I'm not about to be here to condemn you for that like bro right. that man clearly want to do good and he think posting it some people post it for alternative motives right. he don't want to be one of them people right what the fuck i'll be mad at <laughs> like i'm not like shit i i praise you for that you feel me right. i just have another perspective and shit maybe we can meet in the middle i can learn something from you you can learn something from me and that could better everybody it's all yeah, about you definitely just 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 taught me something it's all about the intention for real so i want to ask you this then mm-hmm. how you being in at home all the time and you said niggas don't even take pictures how do you think that that hurts your worth? Are you still getting booked at home and niggas giving you? Because I had an interview with somebody from Baltimore. And he was saying, "Yo, why the promoters don't give us them bags like they give them uh, the big artists?" And somebody on the post is on the, on the comments like, "Because we see you all the time, right?" So do you think that hurt your worth when it comes to you being in Alexandria? 
Or even in the DMV? Shit. I mean, it could, but being seen in the neighborhood is different than being seen in the club. Mm. So you could be seen in the neighborhood, but the club still wants you to bring everybody else out. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But me, I don't get booked because I overcharge all the time. Like maybe right now I'm worth 5000 I'm going to be charged 7500 mm. because it, it's, it's different risk for me. You know what I'm saying? Like how we going to the club and, you know what I'm saying? Just a whole bunch of different shit. So I don't think I get booked because I overcharge all that the time. Yeah. I ask niggas this all the time coming from Baltimore. Like, you again, this could, this could pertain to you, right? You say you always niggas see you all the time. Do you think you do you think you downplay your celebrity at all back home? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I do. Because it's like. I don't look at myself like a celebrity. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Just because a little nigga got a few followers and a few views and shit, that don't, I don't look at it like that. But it starts hitting me when these people, like, you know, the type of music I I make is like real, like our conversation right now, that's I, all yeah. my music. Oh, okay. That's oh. what's in my music. Mm. So the people that really come to me and be like, man, you changed my life. Hey, bro, this project right here helped me get through this. Man, I was suicidal and I, you changed my thought. I, you Remember how I just told you I was waiting for Dolph to tell me he lost five million so I could be able to Feel say. Feel better about it. Yeah. <laughs> so I do that to other people. Mm. That's when it hits me like, you somebody. You got a voice. And I'm really talking about more so protecting ourselves, right? Yeah. Shit, you looking good. You clearly, you know what I'm saying? You got some shit on. You ain't liking you come out. As, you ain't half-stepping. And niggas' jealousy is real. Yeah. You feel me? Like, I feel like it's always the niggas. Boosie said it. It's like you got to move away from home. Because the niggas at home be the ones that's hating the most. They want to take you off the, the most. Yeah, I mean, but people die out of town, too. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> me myself, I move righteous, but my death date already been written before I was even born. Mm. So whether I do this or that, like when I'm meant to die, I'm gonna die. There's nobody that could delay that. There's nobody that can fast forward nothing. Mm. So my time is my time. So I don't really even look at it like that. I believe trust in the law but tie your camel mm. you and that's what, what i mean though right like don't jump off the bridge but you know but so when you moving back home you moving around back home are you moving with security or mm -mm. wouldn't that kind of be an example of you said don't trust in our law but don't no trust in trust in law. a law but don't um trust in the law but tie your camel but tie, right isn't what you say not moving with security is kind of not tying yeah, I mean, but there's other ways to protect yourself other I mean, than security. Yeah, no, for sure. I, mm. I was talking to Simba, and he was saying, you can sec secure your, sec securing yourself don't always have to be security. Right. Or you can secure yourself by having pe the right people around you. You know what I'm saying? Security. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, nah, I get that. Damn, that's some security, they getting paid to do a job. Like, you really going to put trust in yourself for that? Mm. I feel like only time I'm gonna need security is if I get famous enough to not be able to walk through peacefully. Mm. Get up out of the way, man. Watch out, watch out. That That's when sense. security is needed. That makes sense. But as far as like here go my life protected, I, I wouldn't, me personally, I wouldn't hire security for that. Okay. Stand. Not to downplay security and all that, because some niggas do need security. Some people, I do recommend security for, but not me. No, I get it. I um, I want to stay in VA right now, right? Mm -hmm. You being the face of Alexandria, uh, shit, probably even Northern VA, shit, yeah, seeping sure. into DC. You feel me? You being the face of VA right now, or Alexandria, just for lack of better words. If you had to explain the music industry there, right, to a stranger, how would you explain what's going on music-wise? Okay. We got we got me. We got a lot of 
other young artists coming up. They fly. They talking real shit. They speaking on what they've been through. Talking about they struggle. They talking about what they like. It's fun. It's motivating. And it's it's real true and genuine to our city. Mm. Ain't too many that I run into artists rapping and they be like, man, no, that ain't. So let me ask you this then. Knowing that it's so raw, it's lit right now, you feel me? Why don't you think that it's, it was never a big artist to make it out, out of your city? Man, that whole fucking DMV a crab in a barrel, bro. Mm. That shit, like, people don't, like, people like to be from D.C., but to keep it real with you, I love D.C., I love the people in it, but, man, there's so much hate out there, motherfucker. Like, people hate on each other so much that, it like, the only way that's going to work is if it changed. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So... They come from a lot of people hating on it on each other. If it wasn't no hating going on, the money could circulate faster. A lot of people could have more money. A lot of people can build more bridges and niggas will pop more. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a few DC artists, but man, they had to they had to they had to climb their life up to get up there. Mm. Trail, Wale, Shy. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas been through hell. Them niggas had to really put that shit on their back and, and push. Mm. Shit ain't easy. Let me ask you something. You from Baltimore. Mm. You moved down here, right? Mm-hmm. There it is right there. Nah, for sure. And how how's shit been going since you moved? I mean, it went crazy. I, um, uh, I think when we coming from small cities like we do, I think one is uh, a couple things are similar. If not everybody, most of the people are super talented. I know I can speak for Baltimore. Yes, sure. bro. For sure. Niggas are talented beyond this world. Uh, but with that is is not a big market for people to visit. Right? So part of me moved because of violence, but not really. Like, I, I moved because I'm making moves, and I need to be around niggas that's making moves so I can I can grow, too. When I'm, when I'm home, as talented as we are, we all are fighting for the same thing. So I could, I, I, I understand, no, I don't understand, but I see where it can be crabs in a barrel, but I don't think that's the problem, that was a problem for me, more so that it was lacking opportunities, right? If, I don't know, uh, hypothetically, let's say Wale come to the city, Wale is going to go to the biggest platforms he believe in, and that's 92Q. Man, fuck that. You know Wale? You know his music? Yeah, I know his music. Name one person he put on. Shit, Wale well, put on a lot of niggas. I think. Ooh, he helped Light Show out. He helped. Uh, shit. He helped Light Show out. Yeah. What? Okay. Wale well, didn't help Shy Glizzy. Wale well, didn't. He didn't, bro. No, bro. Man, no, you bro. Was crazy. Wale well, ain't help them people, bro. Them people. Wale well, went to get with them when they were hot. I mean, that's helping about? them. You hot right now? Yeah. So if you ain't if you ain't showing me no motion, right? And this is a funny conversation because I'm not from that side, but from the outside, I'm just giving my perspective from the outside. So we can let's have this debate. It's but fun. hold on, before you move too fast. Yeah. Listen to how you genuinely just but, said we got so much talent. Mm-hmm. Them talent that you thought in the back of your head while you were speaking. Yeah. Are uh, they have emotion? They got motion. Okay. They like they got motion, but. I had motion. Helping is taking somebody that can't benefit you nothing and helping them. Bro, you don't think... Wale fuck with Shy when it was beneficial to Wale. Wale fuck with Light Show when it was beneficial to Wale. Okay, so what about... uh, What y'all got? Is it not something in the water? What's the other shit? Broccoli City, right? I think this past year or maybe uh, two years ago, they put Wale on... And he said he didn't want to be on unless he had his own set. And his own set comprised of a lot of the the the, the, the little niggas. You make me sound like a motherfucking head. Nah, no, we having bro. a conversation. I, because it's funny because I've had this conversation with- uh, Bro, with, what is the Broccoli Fest going to do to an artist, bro? Them artists that you about to say that he brought out, what did they? What did it do for them? Nah, that's you. See, 
That's why me and you both, I used to think like this, bro. No, bro, you can't judge your success by the nigga that's, that's, that's under you, bro. You had success. You probably, that shit ain't going to do nothing for you because you understand it now. But five years ago, you being on Broccoli City would be a huge opportunity for you. I feel like a lot of times we overlook, we we under, we underestimate ourselves and we fucking um, downplay our own celebrity. Bro, you worked hard to be, you ain't, bro, this shit you got. Let me tell you something. This is what you call helping. Go ahead. I got a, I got in communication with Fed Trail. Mm -hmm. Every artist around me that I know of got a feature from Fed Trail through me. Mm -hmm. Every nigga that I fuck with, mm -hmm. I got with. And I, I'm not even going to start with Trail because Trail like real family and I can go forever from rude to, in to I can keep going forever. Mm -hmm. You go, I got a relationship with No Cap. Mm -hmm. Pass it on to my dog A Rod. Passed it on to my partners in Virginia Beach. Passed it on to my little dog up uh Manassas. Got him. I got with Gates. I let Gates hear every single rapper from DC, Virginia, and Maryland that I fuck with. Mm -hmm. You go on Instagram, you see he's cranking out the Chris Bow, Fat Ye, uh, Shy Trill, um, um man. Young Rule, I let them hit everybody. Now there's a there's an artist down here. His name he from Atlanta. His name Honcho. Before anybody yeah, knew who Honcho was, mm -hmm. Omar right here let me hear his shit when he was in jail. Before he even got out of jail, I don't put it in Gates's ear. I don't put it in Trail's ear. I don't put it. That's what you call help. That ain't benefit me none. Chris Bo got a wreck like. Off the record that I did with Gates, we hit 24 million uh, streams. Like, I made a lot of fucking money off that. I want the same thing for my dog. Chris Bo, I just I just helped get, well, I did. I got Chris Bo the feature, and we just got clearance from it. He about to drop. Mm. Is that helping? Yeah, I mean, it's That's helping. real helping. What am I going to benefit from that? It's stuff for love. Then we go back to even showing what I done did for. I ain't even want to do it. No, it's good. It's fine. That's, we having a conversation. It's fine. Th that's real helping. These dudes don't be helping. I, so personally, right? So it's funny because we got somebody similar in in the city that people talk. They always point the finger and say they not helping. Young, um, uh, King Los, right? King Los is one of the first people who made it out of Boston. Where like in the, in the fashion that he made it in. But I feel like when you putting on for your city and you bring it like to the city, for example, he just had Diddy doing a fucking um, the Park High strut on 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 Instagram, right? But right before this video, so many people would say how King Los ain't putting niggas on. I feel like that in itself is opening doors to to looking out market, right? It might like I'm not what you're they doing speaking is speaking how they feel. Yeah, but I'm saying you, what you're doing is help too. That doesn't just because his help might look different from yours don't mean that he's not helping. Imagine if you was imagine if you was this big artist, right? And you was and you was fighting for your people. Matter of fact, scratch that. The shit you're doing right now. Imagine if it couldn't help niggas, right? Imagine if you was if you was letting niggas listen to it and niggas just ain't fuck with it, right? Like the shit you're doing is helping niggas get distributed, all that, right? But imagine they just ain't like it. Imagine if Honcho ain't have the big song that he had. Right, that don't mean that he ain't show you the music. But if 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 if, if Honcho ain't getting no no motion or no traction, it's it's easy for him to look like damn niggas ain't helping me. When it's mad niggas that got your back, it's mad niggas that's pitching you. But your shit just ain't hit. I if feel my like dog, if my dog sells shoes, and I know the CEO of Nike, mm -hmm. there's gonna be a three way call. There's gonna be a meeting. There's gonna be a greet, a uh, introduction. Mm -hmm. There's no. There's no. There's no. Outside, there's no excuse for that. No, I feel, I, I'm not. I'm not from DC, so I really. And then I'm not about to argue this man what he's doing, what he's not doing because. Yeah, oh, me neither. A, I'm, not saying, I'm just you saying. You asked me a question. No, nah, no, nah, facts. On we how good. on how that that, that how just, that shit work, and that was my opinion is because people ain't. I treat the music the way the streets was back in '05. Mm. You got you 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 got you some work. Break it down with your partner. Let your partner get some some motion. You know what I'm saying? Some people are the chosen one. Mm. Each one teach one. You get it and you pass it off. Imagine me becoming the biggest artist that Virginia has ever seen and not putting on one artist, not putting on two artists, so them two could turn into four, so them four could turn into eight. Motherfuckers just want the whole platform for themselves. 
Go to other cities. Go down here to Atlanta. Baby. Everybody in 4PF turned up. Mm. Thug. Gunner. Keep going down the list. No, why so got some niggas? Yo Gotti. Look at CMG. That's what you call the tug of war. Mm. DC, Virginia, Maryland, we don't got that. As much as you can say, oh man, man, he uh he played my song for three seconds around some executive. Man, let the whole fucking song play, man. What, so think about like even Trail and um and Glizzy, they don't have no big cap. I like like Glizzy had Glizzy game, but like besides um Glizzy did a whole tape, a whole tape with all Glizzy gang members. Yeah, but you no, know I'm saying like they not when we say turned up like that ain't we can't compare Glizzy Gang to fucking CMG. We can't compare Glizzy Gang to Four P. But that's where it goes to what you just said. I can't force them to buy it, but I'm gonna tell them it's on sale. I can let them hear it. Shy let people hear his camp, mm. whether they fuck with them or they didn't. Trail let people hear it. Can't. Trail had Slutty Boys. Trail had me. Trail had Chris Bo. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Damn, I, I ain't. Again, I'm not because I'm not in that market. I can't really have that argument. But I just I, I've seen so many people say Wiley ain't, Wiley ain't doing nothing for his people, and it's like I feel like I don't even want to put that image like that. I don't even want to put it out there that I'm saying Wale ain't doing shit for nobody. I'm just saying that it can be, and who knows that brother might be suffering from other shit that we don't know of, or you know what I'm saying he probably mm-hmm. got other shit going on that he has no choice but to focus on himself. Mm. But if we did have a wing to help us fly, it would be much easier because, go back to what you just said, we got so much fucking talent, bro. Mm. Like, they got talent down here. Like, who who in charge right now? Memphis, Atlanta, New York of the music scene? Mm-hmm. D.C. alone would dog all that shit. Mm. Like it's so much, it's so much talent from up that way. Just to put that side by side by everything that's going on right now. If these young niggas in D.C. and Virginia was turned up like them, or they had them some wings like them, we'd take the lead. And you think when your moment come, you gonna be that one to bring? I'm going to. Mm. I'm going to. I fuck with that. I got no choice. I'm not about to rap forever. And it. On top of that, it's going to be beneficial to me, too, because I'm going to make money off that. Like, right now, I'm studying the game how to make money off signing artists and what where it gets beneficial and how to turn this life shit into a real business. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to learn it, and I'm going to do it, or guess what? I ain't going to make it at all. Mm. I fuck with it, and then I fuck with uh, <laughs> I even fuck with your chain because like, I was thinking, like, man, when I make it, I'm going to get niggas to rock my shit. But it's so, like, anybody can be a part of that. Like, I fuck with it. What you got? What you working on right now, man? Like, what I just you got? dropped the project Real One. Mm. I just dropped it uh, last month on the 26th. I've been dropping video after video off the project alone. I done dropped about six videos on there. And I'm about to, I'm, I'm going to try to knock all of them out. Then I'm just learning. Right now I'm just learning how to network. Mm. And, um, like, come down here to Atlanta, touch shoulders and, Get in the right places because I always stood stuck stuck to myself, but as of now, me and Omar down here, we just, you know, we just moving around and finding people like us and expanding the business. Nah, that shit was hard. I fuck with this, bro. I I even like the end. I, I me, I like all type of conversations. So like, I embrace that type of shit. So like, yeah, nah, I, sure. I love when we could get on here and talk out shit, go back and forth. So like. Nah, I fuck with it. I nah, fuck, I fuck with, you, with you, bro. I appreciate you for pulling up, yes, man. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me at the last minute, too, nah, bro. That's all good. If you can, just let niggas know how to follow you, support you, and everything. Uh, Follow me on Instagram, youngmo underscore life. I got TikTok. I ain't really too heavy on there. But, yeah, my Instagram, youngmo underscore life. My um my YouTube is 17 Young Mo. Follow me. Fuck with me. Man, follow my journey up. Already. Great conversation, man. Young yes, Mo, J-Hill, J-Hill Podcast is a wrap. We out.